How are you feeling, my lady? Much the better for my comrades' ministrations and your most generous hospitality. You need not worry. Good. If there is anything else we can do for the two of you, anything at all, just ask. Stare any harder and you're like to burn a hole in them. Go and say your piece, for goodness sake. I've got nothing more to say to them. I'm going to find out how the others are getting on. Gosetsu. Mistress Alize, I owe you an apology. I acted with reckless disregard for my own safety and endangered I know not how many others in so doing. Scorning your wise counsel, I knowingly defied our master's wishes and left you no choice but to follow suit. Nonsense. I followed our master's wishes to the letter. Consider once more his words, and the intent therein. In offering his head, he but sought to shield his people from harm, loyal retainers included. You must value your life more highly, Shadow Walker. On the other hand, your recklessness did serve as an inspiration to many. Mayhap you should not be so hard on yourself. In any event, if you must apologize profusely, it seems only right that you expend as much effort thanking the one person who supported your plan from the first. That it does. There are no words which will suffice. But thank you. Twelve be praised. When I learned of your rather questionable plot to assassinate Xenos, I feared we would need to recruit a new Primal Slayer. I'm sorry we couldn't be there. Alize made me swear to stay behind no matter what. I think she was worried I'd hurl myself at Xenos the moment I set eyes on him. Forgive me for changing the subject, but now would seem a good time to discuss where we go from here. Though the Empire has yet to retaliate, the fact remains that we have revealed our presence and signalled our intentions in so doing. It is only a matter of time before the Imperials move against us. Given that we lack the strength to oppose them, tis plain some manner of brilliant stratagem is required. Therefore, I yield the floor to the preeminent tactician of our time, with whom I was privileged to share a room. If you insist. While in Kagane, we debated a number of approaches and were eventually forced to concede that we cannot look to the Alliance for aid. Even were it possible to ferry sufficient forces and materiel from Eorzea in a timely manner, such a massive undertaking would not long escape the attention of the Empire. It would be a miracle if our ships reached the shore. Fortunately, according to Totaru and Hancock's intelligence, the Empire has withdrawn most of its forces from Doma in the past year, leaving her relatively unguarded. That being the case, a popular uprising, spearheaded by the full might of the Doman Liberation Front, may feasibly be sufficient to threaten the seat of provincial government, namely Doma Castle. 
Twould be rather easier said than done, of course, but I have seen worse plans prevail. Then we must needs meet with Lord Hien and convince him to return, for there is no surer way to inspire our people to rise up as one. He desired proof of his subjects' conviction, and they have provided it, through no lesser deed than openly opposing Xenos himself. It will work. It has to work. And next time, we will defeat him.
I would expect no less of Bahamut's conqueror. Prepare the airship. His radiance will not object. We have fulfilled our obligations here. I would see this prize for myself. Do you understand why I appointed you to act in my stead? You, whose only accomplishment was to whisper the right words in the right ear. Because of your petty hatreds, they render you the perfect instrument to bleed your kinsmen of hope. To make an example of Doma, such as was ordered. Listen well. If you yield Doma to the rebels, you will not be given another chance to beg forgiveness. Do your duty, now, or die with the rest of them. Are you all right, my lady? That was uncalled for. Oh! They say your Eorzean is helping the rebels. I want him dead. I want his friends dead. I want the heads of everyone he knows and loves mounted on the castle walls. You mean... You mean I can finally go after him? <laughs> I've been waiting for this chance! I promise you, my lady, he won't escape this time. Not this time, oh no. This is the place. When his shade was banished, you swore to leave this life behind. And yet here you are. Yet, if this be the work of the ice, what choice do you have but to end it? <laughs> So the boy would say, damn you, Alfano.
I remember the emptiness, vast and endless. The Azim Steppe, home to countless roaming tribes. A sacred land, watched over by elder gods. Here, we would find Doma's salvation. With the wind at our backs, we walked on, in search of hope, in search of him.
Hey. How goes the search? Any luck? <laughs> what fortune to meet a friend of the young master! Well met, Cyrena. If you have an inkling as to the current whereabouts of Lord Hien, we should be most grateful for your assistance. Oh, please! It is I who should be grateful. Hold! What is this? I came first, you second! Know you to whom you speak? All people of the step should! Or have you fought so much that you have forgotten the face of your superiors? Superiors? I spit on your superiority, little prince! Twisted and mad as sand devils your kind are! Those two don't seem to like each other very much. Those boys are of the Oronir and Dothal, the two strongest tribes. The children of Azim are destined to rule, so they declare to all who will listen. Their word is law, for now. Grand, flamboyant fighters, but deadly, very deadly. He prances as a horse, as do his brothers after their many recent victories. The Undying Ones, too, are strong, fearless, and vicious. They often reigned in the past. Now, they are sorely tested. Ah, the Master of the Markets. He is Castilla. To fight in reunion is forbidden, and to break the peace is to be banished forever. This he says without words, for words are lies to the Castilla. They do not speak. That's... interesting. And all these different tribes share the same lands, do they? No wonder it's tense. I shall look for you on the field at the Nardum. Mark my words! <laughs> As shall I! Mayhap I shall take eleven more Dothar heads to make a dozen with yours. I, I look forward to the day! The dispute will be settled at the Nardum? A great battle held on the final day of the Sahan San. During this time, all bonds of hierarchy are broken. All Zela are equal and free to prepare for the fight. The tribe which triumphs in the Nardum rules until the next Sahan San. Which in these lands is now. Ah, so that is what they call the custom. I presume your tribe will also be taking part? Not all seek the Dawn Throne. Some are satisfied with their lot. Others, like the Kestir, have reason to remain neutral. The Mol are lambs among wolves. Long were we content to remain apart and live quietly, but... Never mind that. You see Kien, yes? I know where he may be.
the Kami are merciful! My Lord Hien, I see you are alive and well. Ah, oh, you are come sooner than expected. So, my blade or my head, which would you have of me? The people of Yansha remain loyal to Doma. I have seen the fire in their eyes. They are ready to rise up and fight. The time is ripe, my lord. Return with us, blade in hand, and lead Doma to freedom. Not less than liberty will suffice, then. A pity. It would be far more difficult to deliver than my head. But if my people wish to pursue an impossible dream, then who am I to deny them? You giddy! Go, Asetsu! And, uh... The Scions of the Seventh Dawn, my lord. Good and true friends who opened their hearts and homes to us when we fled to Eorzea. Far across the sea they have journeyed to stand with us in the fight for Doman liberation. To oppose the Empire, as they have in the West, where they are lauded as heroes for their many deeds. Say no more, Yugiri. Say no more. I observed how you helped Cyrano, to whom I am deeply indebted. For that and for the aid you provided my people, you have my deepest gratitude. There is no doubt in your strength, nor your character. It would be my honor to fight by your side. So, what of Doma? Arise, my friends, and tell me of our home. I have made my decision. You, Giddy, I bid you return to Yansha and take charge of our forces in preparation for my homecoming. As for our esteemed guests, I would ask that you remain here with me, since you will be a great help in the coming days. Your will is my command, my lord, but how much longer do you intend to stay? Oh, only until I have won the contest. I mean to return at the head of the Zayla army. You mean to participate in the Nardom? Have you a better idea? Consider how soundly we were defeated before. The Imperials may have since grown weaker, but we are weaker still. It would be folly to challenge them without first supplementing our forces, so yes, I intend to win the Nardom and enlist the aid of every able-bodied Zayla I can. Furthermore, by championing the mole in the contest, I can at last repay their kindness. Lest you forget they saved me from certain death, and a man who suffers such debts to go unpaid is without honor and unfit to lead. <laughs> just so, just so. Our Lord has spoken, you giddy. But take heart, I shall keep him safe. And should it come to it, bring him back by force. This is no laughing matter, Gosetsu. But if these are my orders, very well. Once more I place my faith in you. Pray look after them both. Looks like it's up to us then. Though it does seem a bit risky. Isn't Hien meant to be the next King of Doma or something? So they say. Though in truth I am but a pale reflection of my late father. All the more reason to entreat your assistance. For ours is an impossible dream. 
to set in motion a revolution that will rattle the very firmament and shake off the yoke of the most powerful empire in the world. Thank you. 